What's up, everybody? Welcome to Media Jacks University. We're going to talk about AMPS today. AMPS is the perfect ramp, MAMP, and LAMP stack for Apache, MySQL, and a lot of other applications that you can build on your local host. Um, I'm I'm a big fan of AMPS because it's it's the, it's got a perfect GUI, makes life super simple, and it's ideal if you are into this business for the first time, trying to figure out how to start developing with small scale. You want to build some simple applications, either you want to play with some existing applications, install some scripts, some CMS that you want to play with, whatever it is, right? Um, AMPS is a perfect local host system that you can actually set up on your computer. Uh, if you're on Mac, Linux, or Windows, and I'll just show you how to do that, right? Uh, so you go to amps.com, and once you're amps.com, just navigate your way into the products and look for amps. Um, amps is by Softaculous. It's the, it's it's uh, directly created by this team, who are very famous in the hosting environment. Uh, what you're gonna do is just download amps. Uh, it'll ask you what kind of version you want. We're gonna work with the most stable version around, of course which is Mac OS X for, for me. You can always choose Windows. Um, I'm just gonna download Mac OS X. Now you can see that's almost 500 MB. It's gonna take some time to get done. So um, I'm just gonna take a quick break right now and then once we're done with, with the downloading, we'll start with the installation. Now that AMPS 3.6 is uh, downloaded on my system, it's time to start installing it. So I'm gonna just double click that system. Uh, it's gonna run the DMG. It's gonna install the DMG onto my system. Uh, all I need to do is just drag and drop this over. I'm not going to do this right now because I've already installed AMPS on my system and I'm already using it for active development. So I'm just going to open up my applications and open up AMPS. Sorry about that. AMPS, there it is. So I'm just going to run that application. It'll start up its user data interface. Give it a second to start up. That is AMPS that you can see right now. Uh, it's got the control center is the first thing that you see. You can control your Apache configuration from here. You can control your MySQL configuration from here. You can also manage and manipulate your PHP settings. So you can directly install extensions that you want to act, that you want to use for your whatever application that it is that you're building or using. You can change your PHP version, again, depending on what application you're building or using. Um, and you can directly create accounts, log into FTP from a remote server. You, it has a MongoDB configuration system. You can do that as well. Help contains all your all the documentation that's released directly by Softaculous. But we're going to be concerned about Control Center for now because that's what the basics are. That's what I want to actually uh, cover in this tutorial. So we're going to have to look at these three quick links, right? Uh, the administration panel, the home panel, and the local web panel. Uh, to, to, to access any of this, I could easily click on it, but it's going to be inaccessible, right? It's not going to reach right now because I need to start up my server for that. I'm going to run an Apache, put in my password, and the Apache server will start in a second. There it is. Now, I need to start my SQL. I don't need to start it, but for the purpose of installing a demo package, I'm going to need to install them. I'm going to need to turn on my SQL. So I'm just going to start it up. Give it a second. It will start any moment now. There it is. And uh, now if I go to local web, I can actually see my server running any of my installations. Right now I have a bunch of installations right inside this directory, but uh, that's some private projects I'm working on at the moment. Uh, what we need to do is go back to my control center and I'm gonna start off my AMPS home panel. Now the AMPS home panel powered by Softaculous is exactly the replica of what you'd get on a, on a Linux package like through cPanel or Windows package through Plesk. It's the place where you configure your server. It's a place where you configure any installations that you want. You can go through your, your installations. You can go through the script ratings. You can go through anything that you can. You can go to your settings, change it, change themes, blah, and blah, blah. But we're going to be concerned about what's happening right here, right? You can secure your amps you can, uh, through a password protection. So you don't want people snooping around your work. You can um, manage your PHP. You can manage your, your, uh, your PHP MyAdmin databases. You can run some demos, etc. Uh, there's some news analysis that Softaculous will keep pushing out, but we're going to be concerned about all these scripts over here at the side. So Softaculous have made it a point to make sure that every script that they have ever released is right here in the system. And it's got a bunch of scripts that are just one click installs and you can just install whatever you want. Now for the sake of a demo, we're going to try to install WordPress, right? Uh, oh, actually, let's try to open OpenCard because OpenCard is an e-commerce system and I love OpenCard. It's, it's, it's super simple to install. Uh, you can go through the installations of some of my old stuff that I've worked on. Uh, you can go through the features of OpenCard. You can it'll take you to some screenshots and so on. But we're going to be working on the installation, right? So it'll ask you which version of OpenCard you want, which stable version. You choose the protocol that you want to filter it. We're going to stick with HTTP because I don't have a, a root doc root setup yet. 
um, I'm going to choose the domain name, which is my local host, of course. Uh, I'm going to choose a directory, so I'm just going to call that uh, open cart. Uh, post that, I can give it a name, I call it my store, give it a description. I sell cool stuff. Uh, I get an owner, it's me. I have an address in my basement. So this is just basic information that OpenCart requires you to, to create once you actually start an account with them. So uh, the first basic installation of OpenCart requires these things. You can you can also control your database settings from right from here. You can actually uh, pre-create a prefix that your database can consume. Um, there's admin accounts and passwords that you need to set up. We'll just keep it as default for now for the, for the case of this demo. There's a couple of advanced options, but not much. You can actually select a database name that you may have recreated. So these things are important. And once you click on install, it'll take you to the installation package. And uh, just give it a couple of seconds to install. It's going to fetch some files that may need some updates. And that's it. We've installed OpenCart. Now that OpenCart's been installed successfully, we can actually click on my local host and OpenCart. And it'll open up here. This is my front end for OpenCart. I'll just go back to this tab and I'll click on open card admin. I'll just click here's my password. And now I'm in password, I'm in a dashboard. So that's how it works. That's how AMPS works, sets up any script. And you can actually set up any script you want right from this thing. So if you want WordPress, you search WordPress and you can get WordPress. Well, WordPress is not the only CMS around. If you want to look for some really good CMSs, you can actually look at um, project management scripts you can look at some yeah we have cmss there's a whole bunch of stuff you can play with uh if you know how to play with these so you can install any script if you want run demos check it out configure it um, it's a perfect place for you to start exploring your development skills amps is a great uh, user-friendly environment it's 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 ideal if you're a fresher uh, inside amps are a bunch of settings you can play with um, you can you can change your languages you can change your time zones you can change uh, whatever you want, you can change your setting, you can change your themes, anything that you want, right? Uh, it has an API key if you want to connect with any applications externally. It, it's brilliant, right? So just to come out of the of the C panel or whatever you call the control panel for AMPS, we'll just come back to the to the AMPS admin interface, which can directly consume via the control center. So if I click on that, this is where I control my AMPS core functionality. And the core function in apps is basically where I am inputting my my proxy details, my server details, the logos if I want to customize it anywhere, any number of scripts that I need to be fetched out, colors, themes, basic stuff, right? It's it's an exhaustive list of of settings that I have in my uh, admin panel, but it's essential because well, apps is basically telling you that you can configure your own server right on your desktop. And it's important that uh, all these scripts are updated and they, they are continuously pulled out from the Softactyl server. So it's very important to run these scripts in advanced settings, any system requirements that are required, fetch for updates and stuff like that. And once all this is done, you can update your AMPs and you're all good to go, right? So AMPs, well, there you are. You can, you can start using that today. And I wish you guys all the very best with your development skills. Thank you.